wasn't going to come and do this today, but I've just got back from the hospital and um, didn't have the best of news in the world and I'm quite pissed off about it. And seeing how things relate to my health and me being pissed off about it is something that I come on here and blog about just so I've got a chance to uh, whinge and moan and get things out of my, off my chest so sorry you can have to sit and listen to me rambling on for a minute. I had a hospital appointment uh, a few months ago around about November time um, and uh, I, I was meeting a surgeon who was uh, going to be doing a, a simple little operation on me. Uh, my my big toe on my right foot. Um, and I'm guessing it's, it's because of my condition. It's part of my condition because uh, it's happened to other people. But uh, my big toe directly points upwards. Like, but it doesn't lie flat. With all my other toes. Uh, so the option was, so the answer that people like my sister have taken is uh, they've gone to hospitals and they've had surgery to cut the uh, tendons in your toes so uh, they relax and they get flat. Um, I need it done because, like I say, my toes, big toes, are uh, pointing upwards. It makes wearing shoes and socks quite uncomfortable. My shoes, in particular, I, you know, I'm pretty much wearing slippers all the time. And, um, yeah, fucking, I look like I should live in a hospital ward, really. Um, so anyway, so I have the initial appointment back in November, um, but it was, I was told it was a no-go situation because I couldn't, because uh, my diabetes, <coughs> excuse me, it was a no-go because my diabetes was uh, out of control. And they did a blood test on me. I'm not sure what it's called. I know I'm not sure what it was that they're actually measuring the amount of. Um, but uh, but anyway, whatever it was, the hospital would would only operate on me if my reading was below 70. Um, my reading was 127. So, it was put off, uh, put off for a few months, and I got left through the other day, saying that my appointment had come up in Taunton, um, which is about, 20 miles from here, 18 to 20 miles from here. Um, uh, I didn't have anyone to go with, didn't have, uh, you know, I had to go and do it on my own. Uh, so I had to book hospital transport. Uh, that was the first thing that pissed me off a little bit. Um, I had to, my appointment was at 10.40 in the morning. I had to leave here at half past eight in the morning, meaning I had to get up at seven. And as some people might know, I don't really do mornings as such. Um, it turned up, and turns out that <laughs> it's the wrong vehicle. So I had to wait around for another 40 odd minutes while I trying to get another one. It turns up and then I'm off. So I arrived at the hospital and I'm in the waiting room for at least at least an hour, if not an hour and a half, 
before they can even see me, which really won me up. Uh, believe me, if it wasn't for the fact that they had a Costa coffee right next to me to get something to drink, I would have lost my shit completely. Um, so then uh, I eventually, eventually I got called in, and I was with the with the consultant for less than five minutes, and all he did was he took my shoe off, he I looked at it, and then, and then he just said, "Look, sorry, you know, because." Because of your diabetes, we aren't prepared to put you under general anaesthetic. It's not going to happen. Um, so, <sighs> the I've been referred to another, I've been referred to the orthopedic department and I've just got to wait around for yet another appointment with them to go and see them. It just, it just pisses me off because I try not to get upset here. It did just it just gets me because it's uh, so bad. That's my phone. It it just it gets me because things aren't simple for me. Um, you know I can't just have one thing wrong with me. It seems to be a lot of things. And and I have to go and have to go and sort this out. And then what is <laughs> it? Pretty, you know, it's not anyone's fault. But you know, I'm I'm doing this all on my own. You know, other other than a few people who do watch this these videos, I don't have anyone else to share this with. Even though statistically, I don't even know if anyone is watching these videos. Or at least not now, because when you're going to have a look at my YouTube statistics page, the average time people spend on my videos is only two and a half minutes, and then they switch off. And I don't really blame me. Who really wants to sit in here, so whinging and complaining? I just, I, I just really feel like I'm getting to the point of where I, I don't know how much more bad news I can take. You know, as as you will know, through my condition, I've already had to further give up playing guitar. I've had to give up give up my lifestyle in general. I had a, I had another letter come through. Today from uh, from West Mendip Hospital, saying 
uh, they uh, saying that they cannot cannot help me anymore with my bladder problems and um, as of today we have discharged you and I suggested that your GP refer you to see a urologist for a further assessment of your symptoms. You see, <coughs> I just just another fucking hurdle. And then now, if you can see my thumbs here, my thumbs are starting to curl up at the end. Like, like my toe has, and, and that's now starting to make using control pads for my computer games quite difficult. Yeah. That's uh, going to be enough one of my passions, which could very well disappear. Like, like playing guitar did. I'm just starting to find, just finding things very, very, very difficult to get through. I'm mean, just everything I do, I seem to be just dealt with another kick in the bollocks. And I don't really like being kicked in the box. I don't know who would, but... <sighs> There's no point in me getting... upset and overworked up about it. Because... no one's gonna listen. No, no one's... It's my my mood won't affect anyone because there's no one else there. It just it's just me. I don't know what's gonna be next. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what thing I'm going to leave, lose next. Well, um, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for saying all this. But I feel a little bit better for having an outlook like this to give a rant about like I say, I don't expect anyone to watch this video, but if you are, then thank you, thank you very much. Uh, give me a like, leave me a comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. And fingers crossed, I will be back with you on Sunday when I shall be doing a proper video. <laughs> Instead of just, instead of one like this.